Time to talk wear and tear. The swinging arm has got 10 of these bearings involved in the rear suspension. Four across the swinging arm, two in here and two in the front of the fork. The fork is centered by a couple of, these are the factory ones. There's a mill of clearance either side. These are half mill nylon of some sort spaces. They go up under the swinging arm so the link is secured at the top and the fork is secured from side to side movement at the front. These two are made out of some chopping board. They they wear as good as anything else. They're surviving quite well. But these are half mil and the clearance is supposed to be one mil. So the back of the fork has a mil of clearance either side. Now these bearings have a o-ring which doesn't seal. It doesn't have enough friction to hold itself on the shaft so water does get in and water will get in I don't know if you can see the um, abrasion on that that's just from road stones thrown up by the front tire so this thing will always get sandblasted by road grit and when you ride in the rain water will be sprayed on that so this was the bush that was in it it's got the worst condition so that is not immune to water and dirt. There's 12,000 k's on this bike and I have taken it for swims in puddles and whatnot. The bush that was here hiding under the swinging arm was in a lot better condition and it's almost reusable. The best bearing bush is the spherical unit at the bottom of the shock. So it's solid, it's just a sliding ball joint and it's perfect. That seems to be well designed. They've thrown in these ill-fitting o-rings and they seem to do the job. There's no wear at all on that. So that part's well done, but the needle rollers are a little bit below par for long term. The swinging arm also has the same needle rollers, and I question that because there's a lot of brunelling there, and brunelling is where a bearing doesn't do a full turn, so it rolls backwards and forwards over the same spot. And the swing arm is just held in place by two soft metal washers either side on the outside. There's no provision to lubricate or clean or protect those surfaces. And every time your back tire distorts sideways, the load is taken on these washers directly and they're showing it. It's soft steel. You can see the imprint from the bush there. I'm up for 10 of these. Five of them had rust in them and they're at action level and the other five were okay but I'll be changing the full set they're available from radio spares for about $14 each I don't know AJP's price and of course the five bushes I have to replace I'd be interested in researching what other 650 size bikes do for swinging arm bushes because the needle rollers don't seem to be appropriate for the low travel and as you can see there's other things that don't need needle rollers of course the good old chain roller that's just a roller skate bearing um, they need cleaning and re-oiling fairly frequently. You've got to pull them off. That's just normal maintenance. This stuff doesn't survive what I would think uh, as long as we're expecting. Yeah, we have the troubles that Ian Moore will have experienced. Even guys like Bruce, I reckon he'd want to check out the two bearings, especially this one at the back of the fork, and see how it's faring because Bruce has got the most Ks up of anybody in Australia that I know. What I am looking for is some ideas. I'm sure I've seen on bikes, Suzuki and whatnot, that this washer has been big enough with a oil seal on the outside facing into the swing and arm. Maybe I can fashion a rubber boot over the engine because the engine has knobs on it sticking out to make up the gap between these two bushes. And maybe that can be covered with rubber, heat shrink tire tube, something to keep the water out of that. Maybe a rubber flap or something on the bottom of this. You can see that I assume was the top side with the machine out for the uh, shock. And this is the bottom side which has got the same amount of sandblasting from the road and a occasional hit from something I've gone over because I ride my bike on the dirt. And I think we should be able to ride them on the dirt and go a little bit through difficult terrain like the bikes advertised as. Things that can be improved in that arena would really aid the bike.